Hi, this is Mr. Bledsoe, and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of examples using the commutative property and the associative property. Now remember, the commutative property has to do with the order that you do things in. And the associative property has to do with grouping. And generally, grouping means you're dealing with parentheses. All right? So let's take a look at how we could use the commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition to simplify an expression that we're trying to evaluate. So take a look here at example number one. So I've got 43 plus 89 plus 57. And that's not that difficult an expression to evaluate, to add those three numbers together. I could just add these numbers together in the order that they're given. In other words, add 43 and 89 together, and then take that sum and add it to 57. However, I notice that two of these numbers, 43 and 57, those two numbers, if I were to add them together first, that's actually a little bit simpler to do because I noticed that 43 and 57 added together gives me 100. And 100 is a lot easier to work with. So instead of adding these together in the order that they're given, what if I change the order? What if I add them together in a different order? Specifically, what if I add them together as 43 plus 57, then plus 89? Now I've just used the commutative property of addition to simplify. I just simplified my expression using the commutative property of addition. Now I can add 43 and 57 and get 100. Now I've got 100 plus 89 and 100 plus 89 is 189. So I just used the commutative property of addition that is, I changed the order in which I added these three numbers. I used the commutative property of addition in order to simplify my expression to make it easier to evaluate that expression. All right, let's see how I could use the associative property to simplify an expression that I want to evaluate. So here in example number two, now, I notice in example number two, I can see right away I've got some parentheses, right? I've got parentheses right here. Anytime I see parentheses, that's telling me that I'm grouping some items together, which tells me I could group them in a different way. And in particular, for this particular example, I notice that if I were to perform this first addition right here, negative 97 plus 4.6, I could combine those two numbers, although they're a little bit more difficult to do in my head. I guess I could get my calculator out. But I noticed that if I were to group these numbers slightly differently, in particular, if I were to group these numbers like this, that is, if I were to put 4.6 and 5.4 together, well, 4.6 and 5.4, if I add those together, that gives me the number 10. And the number 10 is a lot easier to work with when I'm doing addition and subtraction. So what if... I were to simplify this problem using the associative property. That is, what if I were to group my numbers differently? What if instead of grouping the negative 97 and the 4.6 together, what if I wrote it like this? Negative 97 plus 4.6 plus 5.4 and I'm going to group 4.6 and 5.4 together. Notice I'm not changing the order of my three numbers. They're still negative 97 and then 4.6 and then 5.4. I'm changing the way I'm grouping them. That is, I'm grouping these two numbers together. And so when I group those two numbers together, I add them, I get 4.6 plus 5.4 is 10. So now I've got plus 10. 97 or negative 97 plus 10 is going to give me negative 87. And now I just use the associative property of addition to simplify an expression and make it easier for me to uh, evaluate the expression. 